Hi, welcome to another Xfinity Voice tutorial. In this one, we're going to show how to display an icon over a player's head when they are speaking. Um, so I've been really invested in um, Photon Engine's Pun2 multiplayer system. And um, I also, if you haven't watched any of my other tutorials, I do a lot of visual scripting using Hutong Games Playmaker visual scripting tool. I absolutely love it. I do very little C-sharp scripting um if i can't do it with playmaker i'll write a playmaker action with c sharp and then i'll start using the playmaker action um but i've released um uh, an asset recently called the ultimate pun 2 playmaker integration it has 2d it has 3d and it has vr the price right now is 15 dollars um as i add more components to it more templates that price will go up so if you're interested in it go grab it um otherwise just watch my tutorials and learn how to do it i've followed my previous tutorial how to get started with Photon Voice to set up my uh, Photon Voice system. And I'm going to be using a 2D scene to display this. It'll make it a lot easier to see. All right, so we just need two things. We need an indicator, an icon or text or something that shows the player speaking. And then we just need logic to detect when a player is speaking and then make the indicator visible. All right, so let's go into our player prefab. All right, and so we need an icon above this player's head that's going to show if they are speaking or not. We're just going to do this. I'm just going to make a 2D object and we're just going to make it a sprite and we're just going to make it a circle. All right. And we're going to move the circle above his head. Okay. And then let's make it red. So we don't have a lot to look at here. Um, so with Playmaker, what's nice is um, if we come and if I add a new FSM, so just think of an FSM as a script. And if I take this photon voice view, and let's say I drag it on over here, and we get the, a property, this shows us all the properties that are available from the photon voice view. I mean, what we want to know is this player recording. All right, and then we'll store this as a bool. All right, so we're going to check this every frame. So then I'm going to do a bool test. So if is recording is true, then we are going to indicate. We'll call it on indicator on. And if it's false, we're going to say indicator off. All right, we're checking every frame. And actually, what we can do better than this is we don't even need the bool test. We can just get a bool every frame. I'm just going to drag this indicator in here and I'm going to go to Sprite Renderer Set Property. I don't like using set property actions. Um, I prefer to have an action that does exactly what I want, but this works. This is just like using C Sharp to set the property of something. And I'm just gonna go to Enabled and we're going to make this enabled based on this bool and we're gonna do it every frame. So now if we go hit play, and I join public room. There we go. But it's always on. So why is it always on? So if we go look at my voice manager here, here, even though we put the logic on our player, right? So on our, so we have the speaker. So we're, we're checking, no, we're checking on the local player. It's photon voice view. Even though we don't see a bool here showing the is recording, we were able to get that is recording property. A uh, bool, not property, maybe pro yeah, property. Um, but if we so it's basically getting it from this voice manager, and if you notice, it's always recording. So I stopped talking so you can see that it's always recording. So this isn't something that we turn on and off ourselves. This is a visual indicator to let us know if our microphone is being transmitted. So how do we make it to where it's not recording all the time? If you look at my level, it's always picking something up. See, even when I'm quiet, it's got a 0.02. So we can turn on voice activity detection and we can put this up to, let's do 0.05. It should, even though this is recording is always on, you can see my indicator over here. When I'm quiet, it goes away. Okay, so just to show one more time, if we go back to here's standard voice manager, turn on detect, I'm gonna set it for 0.05. You can set it to whatever you want. 
If we now hit play again, nothing until I talk. All right, and there is still one more thing that we have to do. Maybe not. I think it might be smart enough. Let's see what happens. Um, so let's build and run, and let's see if it works. All right, so I got it running in the editor as well as over here. So if I turn this one, if I join a public room here, here I am. Um, interesting. Um, we'll come over here and do public room. And, and it's not it's transmitting. not transmitting. Sorry about that feedback. So why do you suppose it's not actually showing it for all players? So there's several different ways that we could do this. Um, how to see other player indicator. We could send an RPC. So um, when it's true, I can send an RPC to everybody else saying that it's true and they'll activate it or it'll make it visible. When it's false, I can send an RPC to everybody that says it's false. Make it disabled. Um, that might be the easiest one, way to set up logically. Um, another thing we could do is create an animation on an, an, an animator so we can animate that dot from that bool. And then we could use um, uh, an animator view component. However, I don't have a lot of luck um, with bools in the animator, and that's probably the most complicated option. Um, somewhere in the middle of those two, we could set up a network sync. We could network sync the variables. I have no idea how you do this in C Sharp, and it's kind of complicated um, when it comes to Playmaker as well. Um, it might actually be easier in C Sharp. Um, I don't know, but we're going to try to network sync that bool. So let's see if this stays in the video. <laughs> we need to go to our player. All right. And um, we should probably name this FSM. And we're going to call this the uh, is recording indicator. Okay, that's what I'm going to call that FSM. Okay, so is recording indicator. So what it's currently doing is it's getting this property of the photon view, checking to see if we are recording. And if we are, it's setting this bool as is recording. But we need to add some logic here. So with most multiplayer things, um, you always want to check is mine first. Um, so whether you're doing it in C sharp or you're doing it in visual scripting, you're going to have to have some logic that says, is this me or is this something that my player owns, that my machine owns? Because a lot of times you're doing it, if it's mine, then do all this logic. If it's not mine, then we're not going to do any of the logic. So we're doing is mine check first. And this will be our new start state. So is mine, photon view, get is mine. And if it's mine, we're going to do an is mine event is mine. Right, that's not the event. So let's come back here and I'm going to get rid of that. That's the bool. All right, so is mine event. We're going to say is mine. If it's not mine, what are we going to do? All right. <clears throat> so if it's mine, we are going to do this. We are going to get is recording set indicator. So this is if it's mine. <clears throat> but what are we going to do if it's not mine? Well, somehow we need to know if that bool is true or not. So um, for Playmaker users, if you're going to network sync a variable, you have to do this a very specific way. I've tried doing it manually, but it doesn't work. We have to go into this menu. So we'll go up to Playmaker, Add-ons, Photon Networking, Components. And we want to add a Photon Ready FSM to the selected object. Okay, and so what this does is it added a second photon view, which we don't need. So I'm just going to remove that. 
Okay, so this is an FSM that's already ready to accept variables. So we're gonna call this the is recording sync. All right, and so if you're writing in C sharp, this would be a separate script where you're syncing the variables potentially. Okay, so now we're just going to go to is recording sync and we're just, this is just gonna be empty and we're gonna have a variable and it's gonna be a bool and it's going to be is recording. And we're just going to check network sync. All right, so then we're going to go back to our is recording indicator. Now, if this is mine, we're going to get the property. We're going to set this property, but we're also going to set the FSM um, bool. All right, so if you're writing in C sharp, you're going to be setting the bool to your uh, network sync script. All right, so it's still on this game object. It's the is recording sync and the variable name is recording. And we're going to set the variable as this is recording value up here. And we're going to do it every frame. Okay. But what if it's not mine? All right. So if it's not mine, what we need to do is we need to get FSM bool. And we're going to go to the network sync. We're going to get the variable is recording. We're going to store it as is recording. And we are going to set the property of the sprite renderer every frame of its recording. So that should be all we need to do to make this work. All right, so as you can see, I'm mid-editing this video. I'm gonna try saving you four minutes. What I just did is the correct logic but it's not working because that photon view component I removed it once, at least for Playmaker. So you're going to see me, as soon as I'm done here, you're going to see me redo the logic on a different game object. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the indicator game object, the exact same logic. So let's pick it up back at the video. And so here I have the indicator. I'm going to put the logic here. So I'm going to make this have the uh, photon ready FSM select game object. And I'm going to manually add this FSM. So normally you don't need a photon view on a child of another object with a photon view. So this player already has a photon view. So normally there's not a reason to also have a photon view on a child. Um, but I'm gonna be doing it on this because it's being wonky for Playmaker. So um, we're going to edit this and get a variable is recording. We're gonna make it a bool, did this. And we're gonna set this as a network synced variable. We're gonna go back here to the player prefab. We're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of our is recording sync FSM because it doesn't seem to be wanting to sync. All right, so I'm just gonna remove that component. How's my photon view look? Back to auto. Okay. So on our is recording indicator, we're going to do all that jazz. And then we're also going to specify the game object. This indicator, it's got an FSM name. It's that one. Variable name is recording. Set it as is recording. If it's not mine. We're going to get the FSM bool from the indicator. The FSM name is photon network. The is recording variable saving as is recording. All right, it's working now. As you can see, it's showing the is recording indicator on both. So doing a network sync variable, it's a real pain in the butt, especially if it's something you think of doing after the fact. So Playmaker users, if you're gonna be doing a network sync variable, create a new game object. Um, it might just be a child of another one already with a photon view, but create a new game object that's just empty to handle your network syncing. And then go to the Playmaker menu, tools, photon, create photon ready FSM, and you have to set it up that way. Then don't forget to drag and drop that FSM into the photon view component. The first time I loaded, I got an error, like it didn't drag it in, but my second, I drug it in a second time off recording and, and it's working fine. All right, so I hope this was useful to Playmaker users and non-Playmaker users alike. Uh, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next. See you next time.